Last night, the Lady Indian Volleyball team were victorious against visiting Blackford. The ladies blanked the Lady Bruins in three straight sets. Senior Carly Rissmiller tallied up 40 assists, followed by another strong performance from senior Mariah Claywell, ranking up 27 kills. Next up for the ladies is Tri-Eastern Conference matchup against the Lincoln Lady Golden Eagles tonight at Cambridge City. And back home Thursday night against another conference opponent, Centerville, in the annual Pink Out game. Everyone is encouraged to dress up in pink for breast cancer awareness in October. Good luck to the ladies this week. The Indian Netters were in action yesterday at Northeastern High School to finish up their conference tournament. Senior Brayden Hoggett was the only Indian to advance to the final and claim victory in the number two singles slot. The win gave Union City a total of 24 tournament points, which was good enough for second place overall in the tournament for the Indians. The boys' next match will be tomorrow at Jay County to begin their sectional run. This Wednesday, September 29th at 6 p.m., there will be an FFA meeting in Mr. Smith's room. Anyone interested in joining or learning more about FFA is encouraged to come, and I have it on good authority that there will be pizza. Those 8th and 9th grade students who are selling rich dinner tickets for the Washington, D.C. trip must turn in their money and unsold tickets into Miss Black by the end of the day tomorrow, Wednesday, September 29th. Attention 10th, 11th, and 12th graders. If you are interested in seeing a presentation from the representative from Anderson University during travel time tomorrow, September 29th, please check your email for a Google form sent by Ms. Wombo. If you do not make a reservation using this form, you will not be able to attend. You must reserve your spot by tomorrow at 3.30 p.m. Juniors and seniors request will be fulfilled first.